Welcome to the Trophy TV, it is the Everton News Daily. Marco Silva speaking after yesterday's 2-0 win over Chelsea said it can't happen again when questioned about the length of time it's taken Everton to beat a top six side. Uh, Manchester City in January 2017 were the last top six side Everton beat before yesterday's win. And Marco Silva said for a club like us trying to make the strides we're trying to make, that simply can't happen. Um, and he's right, you know, we, we simply haven't turned up lately against these clubs. We're supposed to be improving, we've bought better players and the performances haven't been there. And yet yesterday, I thought, particularly, obviously, the second half, but Everton were fantastic. The first 45 minutes, certainly the first half of the first half, if that makes sense, Everton were about survival. You know, we had no attacking intent, we were just trying to hang on in there, but we grew as the game went on. And in the second half, fully deserved the victory. And it just shows that, you know, if the players do the jobs that they're asked to do by the manager and we get in and we work hard and get in people's faces, we can beat these teams. And, and there's no reason why these runs should happen if you do that, you know. And, and in fact, if Everton played the most of the season like they did yesterday, they'd have seventh wrapped up comfortably and, and who knows, potentially higher uh, or certainly on the coattails of higher. But... You know, that's the thing, isn't it? It's about consistency and it's something we've not had. Um, and we have to make it, he's right, we have to make it more difficult when these teams come to Goodison. And Arsenal are here in a couple of weeks or three weeks' time and we have to make it difficult for them. They're beatable, no question about it, but we have to do the same things to them. Be organised, get stuck in, get the crowd involved like they were yesterday. And if that's the case, when we can beat Arsenal as well. Um Tim Cahill has been speaking about Richarlison and said he sees him as an out-and-out -out striker. Cahill said, I think the problem for Richarlison is he's been played left side, he's been played through the middle, he's now on the right, and Everton really need to just put him in a position and leave him there because he's always attracted to the ball in goal-scoring areas. And he's absolutely spot on. Richarlison scored his 12th goal of the season yesterday in the Premier League. He's got 13 overall. Um and he is. He knows. He he knows where the ball is in the box. He gets attracted to it, and he's put the ball in the net. You know, thirteen times this season. So, I think he's found a little place for himself on the right at the minute. I think the front three at the moment pick themselves. I think Dominic Calvert Lewin's doing really well there. But Charles on the right, Bernard on the left, and I think if we leave him on the right hand side, and he knows that's where he's playing, he'll grow into that position and. He always is going to get on the end of stuff because he naturally goes into those areas. So I agree with Tim Cahill there. Uh, according to reports, Bayern Munich have inquired about Everton's on loan striker Henry Onyekuru. Marcel Brands has apparently told them it's €40 million Euros to start at if they're interested. Uh, that's according to Fanatic, the me uh, news media outlet. Um, that suggests to me that Brands and Silver Sea Onyekuru was potential you know um, I think Everton would like to get him over here and have a look at him in close quarters um, he scored 11 goals I think for Galatasaray this season he got into double figures I think for Anderlecht last season in all competitions so you know let's have a look at him he's pacey can play right or left um, and he could be he could be you know something we need um, but we'll have to wait and see I mean if Bayern Munich were to offer 40 million euros then I think Everton would probably take that and move on to uh, to something else, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Yannick Balassi scored his fourth goal in seven games for Anderlecht at the weekend. Uh, he's also got an assist in those seven. He scored one of the goals in a 2-0 win against Oostend uh, in the Belgian Premier League. And apparently, according to journalists, he's making himself indispensable to Anderlecht. Um, talks that they might make the move permanent in the summer. Um, Balassi probably wanted to stay in the Premier League when he came back from Aston Villa it didn't happen and he went off to Anderlecht on loan um, listen if he's doing well there then it's going to come on to it's going to come down to Yannick Balassi really and his wages um, Everton will probably take I don't know 10 million for him or whatever to get him off the books and then the wages it's up to him but if he's doing well and enjoying his football then why wouldn't you stay um, so you know hopefully that'll continue for him he'll continue to do well uh, Shen Tosin has been speaking and said that he nearly died during his Everton debut at Tottenham last season he said the speed and the tempo of the game 
he just wasn't fit enough for it. He said, I wasn't prepared for it and I wasn't fit enough. Um, he said, he just really, really struggled until the Everton went to Dubai and he came out the team and then he got back in and scored. He ended up with five goals and 12 starts. Uh, he spoke about this season and said he needs to score more goals. He said, it's not what he's done so far hasn't been good enough, but he will continue to fight and give everything for Everton. Um, it's a difficult one for Schenk because I think I think most Evertonians like him. I think they want him to do well, but I'm just not sure whether the Premier League is gonna be his thing. I think it is the speed. It is all about speed and tempo, um, and I'm not sure whether he's got the pace to really um, be able to to do well here. I'd like him to. I think we'd all like him to, but. You know, at some stage we're gonna to have to look and and make a decision on him in the summer and go. He's not gonna do it. To see if there's any takers out there, or maybe maybe you know, the manager will think we'll give him another go and he may well do it. But it's one that they're gonna to have to make a decision on in the summer as well. That is it for the news daily today. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you want more videos, get over to Patreon as well. See you later.